you need to hear this because a lot of people stopped eating chia seeds because they, they felt bloated, uncomfortable, or they were told years ago that the seeds are bad for their digestion, especially if they had a sensitive gut. And over time, chia seeds developed a reputation they don't deserve, not because they suddenly became harmful, but because the way people use them, hydrate their bodies, and understand fiber completely changed. And that misunderstanding stuck Inside the digestive system, discomfort does not come from small foods getting stuck. It comes from pressure. Pressure builds when stool is dry, hydration is low, gut motility slows, or fiber expands without enough water to soften it. And when that happens, the last food eaten gets blamed. Chia seeds are almost entirely soluble fiber. And soluble fiber behaves very, very differently than rough insoluble fiber because when chia seeds are, are soaked properly, they absorb water and form that soft gel. And that gel lowers pressure inside the gut. It improves your stool consistency. It supports smoother transit. It feeds your beneficial gut bacteria. and helps protect the intestinal lining over time. This is especially so important for people with sensitive digestion or conditions involving increased pressure in the gut where hard stools and straining are far more irritating than properly hydrated fiber. Even in people with conditions like diverticulosis or a history of flare-ups, properly soaked chia seeds are generally well tolerated because they are soft. They soften the stool. They reduce pressure, not increase it. The problem occurs when chia seeds are eaten dry, sprinkled on the dry foods, or consumed in a dehydrated body. In that situation, the fiber expands without softness, pressure rises, discomfort follows, and chia seeds get blamed. This is why one person feels better eating chia and another feels worse, not because the seed is good or bad, but because of hydration, preparation, and gut movement determines how fiber behaves once it enters the body. Years ago, people were broadly warned to avoid seeds if they had gut issues. But large population research today has changed. They show that the seeds and nuts were not associated with worse digestive outcomes, and in many cases were linked to better gut health. Yet the fear remained because no one explained the difference between dry fiber and hydrated fiber or how pressure inside our gut actually works. Once you understand that digestion is a pressure system, not a blockage system, the story changes. Properly hydrated fiber softens stools, reduces strain, it supports regularity, while dry fiber increases bulk without softness and raises pressure. And this same gel forming effect is also why chia seeds help stabilize blood sugar and help support satiety because slowing digestion and gastric emptying supports gut hormone signaling, including GLP-1, which helps regulate your appetite and glucose balance. The key is using chia the right way. Always soak the seeds in liquid until they fully are expanded. Start with a small amount if your digestion is sensitive and make sure your overall fluid intake is adequate, or actually more than adequate. But when you use these correctly, chia seeds lower pressure, supports regularity, stabilizes blood sugar, and working with the body instead of against it. It is not the seed that causes problems. It's the pressure, dehydration, and preparation. And once that clicks, chia seeds stop being something people fear and start making physiological sense to them once again. So remember, it's all about preparation. Soak your chia seeds. Soak them for 10 minutes. They'll swell 12 times the size. They get soft. And did you know that those chia seeds, that soluble fiber latches on to bad cholesterol, helps to get rid of the body, lowering cholesterol. It has so many positive physiological benefits for your body. And if you're believing that they're bad for you, you need to listen to this video once again. I hope you share this video with your friends and family. Share it with someone who has digestive issues. Let them do their research because it will definitely help them. Please leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day.
I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.